Roll's next Royce's custom car will be called Drop Tail, after the $13 million Swept Tail and the $28 million Boat Tail. BMW trademarked the name Drop Tail for Rolls Royce, which suggests that a new, very expensive luxury car is on the way. The fact that BMW, the parent company of Rolls Royce Motors, has applied to register the trademark Drop Tail with the EU Intellectual Property Office on July 20 is a strong indicator that the automaker is planning to launch a new coach built model of the Rolls Royce brand. At the Villa d'Este in 2013, Rolls Royce presented the world with the one off Swept Tail model. It was constructed for a wealthy individual who wanted to stay confidential and wanted a bespoke coach-built vehicle to complement his collection of planes and boats. It is speculated that over $12 million was spent on the building of the stunning swept tail. It caused a stir among the ultra-wealthy, many of whom immediately called Rolls-Royce to place orders for their very own customized vehicles. Due to the significant amount of interest in the swept tail, Rolls-Royce decided to re-establish its coach-build department so that it could provide hand-built automobiles for extremely wealthy customers. The Rolls-Royce boat tail is intended to take the place of the swept tail. There will only be three of them ever constructed, and the first one went on sale in May of 2021. The second iteration of the boat tail was presented to the public a year after the first, and it's likely that the third model won't arrive until May of 2023. Rolls-Royce offers two different tiers of its bespoke service. Standard bespoke commissions are available, in which Rolls-Royce will design a one-off vehicle based on an existing platform, such as the Ghost or Cullinan, by making use of a variety of paint, leather, light and headlining options. These are automobiles that only multi-millionaires can afford. The billionaires are granted access to Rolls' complete Royce's bespoke coach-building department, which is responsible for creating unique bodies for the Phantom platform. You probably already have an idea of how pricey the endeavor is going to be. There are rumors that the boat tail set the player back $28 million. However, you shouldn't anticipate seeing the drop tail anytime in the near future. Previous patent applications suggest that the development of such inventions requires a significant amount of time. Rolls-Royce is still working on the final boat tail. In 2018, Rolls-Royce first submitted a patent application for the boat tail, but it wasn't until 2021 that the design was put into production. The drop tail is going to proceed in the same manner. Rolls-Royce most certainly already has some clients in mind, and those clients will be invited to Goodwood or even Dubai to meet with the helpful people in the design department in order to create something that is genuinely bespoke and exquisite. Even though we don't know anything else about the drop tail besides its name, the fact that it has a name that includes the word drop lends credence to the idea that it is a convertible of some kind. This is because Rolls-Royce has a tendency to use the word drop as part of the drop head nomenclature for its convertible models. It is quite likely that the drop tail will make use of a variant of the Phantom's platform, as this was the case with both the boat tail and the swept tail. This indicates that Rolls' twin turbocharged Royce's 6.75 liter V12 engine should be located beneath the hood of the vehicle. A powertrain that is comprised entirely of electric motors and batteries is another potential. The Spectre, a brand new electric luxury vehicle manufactured by Rolls-Royce, is nearly finished and is based on a modified version of the company's architecture of luxury platform. This modified version of the Rolls-Royce underpinnings, known as Rolls-Royce 3.0, could also be shared by the drop tail. It is clear that the drop tail will come with a bewildering variety of interior and exterior customization options, regardless of the powertrain that it employs. In addition to that, we anticipate the price to be absolutely staggering. Now let's take a revision look at the recent boat tail. At this year's Concorso d'Eleganza in Lake Como, Rolls-Royce unveiled its newest coach-built boat tail model. This most recent automobile was ordered as a memorial to the purchaser's dad, who had a career beginning in pearls. Rolls has commended the client for their deep understanding of luxury, which in comparison to some of the more interesting items they're often requested to manufacture, was probably a comfort for Rolls. The hue of the paint was conceptualized after the purchaser chose their favorite pearl shells, and for an especially opulent appearance, the instrument panel is inlaid with mother of pearl. The fact that the timepiece that is located in the middle of the dashboard came from the buyer's own collection is yet another beautiful touch. The trunk of the automobile has two centrally located hatches that can be opened to expose a room that is decked out in walnut accents and has a lovely picnic set inside of it. The technical specifications of the vehicle have not been made public. However, judging from the photographs that have been provided, we may deduce that it is fashioned like a Rolls Royce and that it possesses four wheels. There are additional pockets in the seat backs, which are not usually included as standard equipment. There is very certainly an engine of some kind in there, and if the buyer possesses any degree of common sense, they will have asked that the company's 6.75 liter twin turbo V12 be crammed into the space available. However, the technical mastery of these automobiles is what really sets them apart from the competition. 
For example, the front grille is milled from a single enormous block of aluminum. If you follow the most recent fashion trends, you know that the haute couture of our industry refers to wildly impractical efforts that no one in their right mind could pull off in real life. Rolls boss Torsten Mueller Otvos has described the efforts that the company makes in coach building as the haute couture of our industry. But let's be honest here, this individual probably isn't going to drive their brand new Rolls Royce all the way to Aldi, are they? What other kinds of tails might Rolls look to for inspiration now that it has built the next generation of the boat tail car? Whale tails have been completed, but there is still work to be done on Cat and Nine tails, Sonic and tails, and Shark tail. Each of these projects has the potential to become a multi-million pound masterpiece. Similar to the swept tail, the boat tail is a reference to the golden age of coach building, which occurred in the late 1920s and early 1930s, and was characterized by projects that were frequently as much about the automobiles as they were about the individuals who commissioned them. There are so many, but my favorite is the one about the 1926 Phantom 1 Brugham de Ville, which became known as the Phantom of Love. There are so many more, but that one in particular, particular stands out to me. It was commissioned by Clarence Warren Gask, an American businessman of French heritage who was based in London, to be constructed as a present for his heiress wife, Maud. Gask envisioned a luxurious interior that would evoke the opulent Rococo style of a salon in the Palace of Versailles. He envisioned polished state wood veneer, paneling, au bousson tapestries, and a painted ceiling that was inspired by one of Marie Antoinette's chairs. To top it all off, he wanted a French or Molu clock to be mounted on the partition that separates the front and rear cabins. As our conversation draws to a close, Innes shared with me that we really wanted the boat tail to point to our future. These efforts might sometimes be overly one-sided in their approach to history. Although the idea of hand-built Rolls Royces is important to us, we want the design to confidently look towards the future. Coachbuild has given us the ability to move beyond the traditional limits which has allowed us to do this. And that's for today's video. We sincerely hope you enjoyed the video. If so, give it a like and share it with your friends and family. Let us know if you have any questions or comments in the section below. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more of our incredible videos. You can also watch our other videos that have been specially selected for you. Look forward to seeing you in the next video.